Hello, I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this day to be bringing you God's truth. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the truth that's been revealed to us. Our hearts are ready to learn, Lord. And you are here to teach us that we may grow and be edified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we are looking at the story, the young prophet and the old prophet. Now, we saw how God commanded the young prophet certain things he should not do when he goes to carry out the assignment that he, God commanded him to carry out. And then he obeyed the Lord. But somewhere along the line, in a moment of rejoicing, he got back. The, the old prophet came and told him, follow me. And then he eventually followed the old prophet because the old prophet said, an angel spoke to me. Now, first of all, as a child of God, it is important that you hear God for yourself. True. It's very important that you hear God for yourself. That's on the one hand. Secondly, Whenever God gives you a clear instruction on things you must not do, don't allow... Now, now, listen, God speaks to us differently. Now, there are some people that God will speak to. Um, if you're matured enough, that's where God wants you anyway. He will speak to you personally. You will hear the word of the Lord. You will hear the voice of God for yourself. It can come by a dream, it can come by revelation, it can come by just your understanding being enlightened. That, that happens a lot. You, you, just, you just know something. See? And that's how we know truth. You know, sometimes you know, someone is talking to you, you just feel, I've been there, I've heard this before, and this is the truth of the situation. You can't see any other thing. So you say, hey, you, 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 that's not the true position of things. But you were not there. Well, yeah, but the Spirit of God was there. And he's the one that's just opening your eyes to the truth concerning that issue. So you just, you just think, you know, I remember when I was to go to the university. Now, the school I chose, nobody had spoken to me about the school before. I just knew in my spirit that that's the school I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I just knew. There was no second guessing in my heart. I just knew. Now, at that time, I didn't know I could hear the voice of God. I didn't know God was speaking to me. And I was like Samuel. I was hearing the voice, but I didn't know God was speaking to me yet until later on, years later. But, but I just knew this is where I'm supposed to be. See? And that was the Spirit of God guiding me. How is it guiding me? It revealing light to my spirit. So you, you don't just have any other option. Even when men try to, oh, have another option, have a second option, you, you're just like, ah, that's it. That's where I'm going to praise God. All right, so, so, so that's how God speaks. Now, when God speaks to you personally, if for any reason he is coming to change it, he is not going to come through another means to change it. He will come through the same means that he gave you the instruction before. And let me tell you the truth. He will come, the second time he's coming to change it, he is coming with an explanation. So you will see the purpose why he says don't do this and now he's telling you do it. He is not going to tell you personally, son, don't go there. And someone else will come and tell you, the Lord said to me that we should go there. I should go with you. Now, when that happens, you will now realize, ah, so this was the reason God specifically instructed me not to go there. Because this temptation is going to come. Now I see. Now that is understanding. When you walk with understanding, you will now see. Now, when, when this prophet was obeying the Lord and receiving instruction from the Lord, he never thought an old prophet was going to come to tempt him this way. But it, it happened. Now, if he was smart and matured in the things of the spirit, he would have said, ah, I respect this man, yes. But, sir, I think I've already gone some distance. There's no point going back. Please, next time, I may come and visit you specially on my own accord. But this time, just let me go in peace. Now, 
he, he wasn't supposed to insult the old prophet. Old prophet, you're telling a lie. God did not even tell you anything. The Lord has spoken. No. Politely. See? But you must learn to stand by the word of the Lord that has come to you. If God spoke to you through a prophet that you believe so much in, yeah, that, that, that can happen also. And a clear instruction comes from that prophet or from that man of God. And says, hey, this is what God wants you to do. And you have the peace in your spirit that this man has never been wrong where you're concerned. Now when that happens, what do you do? And, and, and while you're at it, someone else comes to say, another prophet comes to tell you, no, that's not what God wants you. You know, people, people do these things. I just let me, let, me, let, me, let me teach you this now. A man of God tells you, someone who, who you see, you, you've got to understand, as, as, as God's children, we all have the Holy Spirit in us. But then also, there's order in the things of the Spirit. There's order in the kingdom of God. So, let me tell you this. A child of God will not say, a, a child of God who submitted to God, will, you won't find him say, I don't submit to any man. God is the only one I submit to. Now, when you see someone talking like that, you know that this guy is going somewhere to happen negatively now. You see, because, see, the principle of God is submitting yourself one to another. See, submitting yourselves one to another. You cannot have it all by yourself. Now, you need to learn this. Because sometimes people go, ah, eh, you know, it's because the voice, the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Yes, He speaks to you. But you must learn submission. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. See, the Lord Himself will use men to test you if you're submissive. You can't be you can't say I'm I, I'm, I'm only submissive to God. I'm not submissive to any man. You are not submitted to God. Now, people say this sometimes out of offense because someone has mistreated you because, because maybe you have submitted yourself to a, a, a man of God and he didn't treat you well. He didn't treat you right. So, you know, you ah, me, I've passed that level. I'm not submitted to any man. God will speak to me by himself. Now, if you are smart in the things of the spirit, you will find those whose voice are consistently right in your life or over your life. You will find them. Oh, sure, you will find them. See, let me tell you the truth. Their, their, their doctrine may not be perfect. You may even understand scriptures better than them. And that, that's one error. Because you think you understand scriptures better than them. You think your zeal is stronger than them. It doesn't put you ahead of them. God himself will use them to test you. That's how God works. See, as we grow, and, and this, has, this has, what I'm sharing with you now has caused the death of many, many of God's children. See, Paul said in 1 Corinthians, remember when we studying first, Paul says, hey, because of this, some of you are sick and even die. What's the problem? He didn't discern the Lord's body well. He's not talking about that bread that we eat in communion. He's talking about, you, you don't understand how the body of Christ functions. You don't know. So, so you come out there and you think, I'm a, I'm a man of myself. Me, oh, it's only God. You could ask, after all, God said, call no man father on the earth. You, need, you don't even understand what Jesus was talking about when he said that. You, do, you don't get it. Now, that also doesn't mean you get up now and say, let me find a spiritual father to submit to. You don't find a spiritual father to submit to. You don't go to someone and say, I want to be. And, and you know, sometimes, you know, the, the, the older prophets, you, you just want to feel, I have, I have 10, I have 100, I have 1 million children that are submitted to me. 1 million pastors that are submitted to me. <laughs> it doesn't mean God have brought, made, made you a voice over their life. It doesn't mean that. So what do you do? Find out 
find out. And how do you find out? It's only the Holy Spirit that can lead you to such people. It's only the Holy Spirit that can guide your steps. And, and sometimes you will hear him tell you, listen to that person. And when he tells you, listen to that person, I can guarantee you one thing. There are times that person will sound foolish. But as a wise man, what you do, even at those times that person is sounding foolish, now you want to do something, and then here's this person who's, who's your spiritual authority, you know, over you, who God has said over you. He comes and says, ah, no, 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 don't do this thing like this. Don't do this thing like this. Don't do this thing like this. Now, the moment that happens, what are you supposed to do? You might come and say, no, but I've heard God now. I've heard God clearly tell me about this thing. What are you supposed to do? Go back to the Lord and say, Lord, I have, I have watched. Or maybe if you have spoken to you, Lord, you have spoken to me about this person being a voice in my life. Or I have watched how consistently this person's words have ministered to me. And now look at this situation. I'm, I'm a bit confused now. What do I do? I'll tell you what the Lord will do. Two things. He will either use that person's word to open your heart to wisdom. See? Or even if the person is wrong, ah, it pays to walk with the Holy Spirit with humility. Even if the person is wrong, the Spirit of God will use that to teach you. He can tell you, no, that's not what I told him. This is exactly what I told him. And he said, oh. And then the Lord will tell you, say, this is the reason you should not do this or do this. So that you don't become blind at a certain age. He will tell you. See, if the Lord have led you to someone, everything about that person is a learning for you. Everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, is a learning for you. Now, it is for you to look, watch, and learn. And, and not say, ah, hey, 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 no, ah, I passed this level. Ah. You learn in all humility. Because I said, take this from me. God will use men to tempt you. And if you fall for that temptation, it may cost you your life. Look at this young prophet, for example. Where was the Spirit of God when the old prophet was talking to him? Why didn't the Spirit of God come true for him and say, Son, son of man, thus says the Lord unto you, don't follow him. Where was the Spirit of God? Where were his angels? What were they doing at that time? How come he didn't hear God telling him, oh, you're going the wrong way. I told you not to do this. You're doing it. At such times, see, God has already given you his word. So this man actually disobeyed. Now, he didn't know this old prophet from anywhere. So this is not one person that God has put as authority over his life. He heard the voice of God. Go there and prophesy to that altar. Yes, sir. He got there. He prophesied to the altar. There was a challenge over his life. God arrested the challenge from the king. Do you know what it is for a king to come against you? And then God delivered him. Now he's out of the town, going his way, resting somewhere. This prophet comes. And, and, and now you notice so what happened. The prophet got him back. He followed him. While they were eating, the prophet now spoke and said, Thus says the Lord, because you have done this that I told you not to do. The old prophet now was speaking prophecy by the word of the Lord. And I asked you yesterday, do you think God killed this man? Funny enough, I didn't answer that question today. And our time is almost up. But I needed to explain these things I've explained to you. I'm trusting God tomorrow. I'm going to explain to you. Did God kill the man? Did God kill him because he disobeyed him? I'm going to talk to you about that tomorrow. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, we thank you, Father. Lord, the heart of humility. 
that we may hear and understand your voice and see your leading, that we may be saved from all evil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.